Next is Ben Brill. Well, hey, everybody. All right. Now that we're acquainted, uh, my name is Ben Brill, and I've been asking myself for the last 10 years or so, how can I do the most good possible with the skills I have and still support myself? Can anybody relate to wanting that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice endeavor. So my best thing up to now is a vegetable puppet theater. <laughs> you can see there's a broccoli and a pepper entertaining a crowd of attentive kids. And this might be raising some questions in your brain, so the next 19 slides will tell the story. <laughs> These are my good friends. The little girl is named Layla. She's with her parents, Javier and Annalise. I've known her parents for about eight years. We were good friends in Wyoming. And even when I moved away, I stayed in touch with them. Because they're just good quality people. And when I did move, I went to New York for a couple of years, and after doing a lot of random work, I ended up entertaining kids at birthday parties. And I was amazed how much I liked the spontaneity of being with kids and the music involved. But New York got old, it got a little dirty, I wanted some more greens in my life, so I thought I'd come back to Asheville and see my friends and meet Layla. Now, we hit it off immediately. We both love playing in creeks, we both love making up songs, so She'll walk around the house with this little ukulele she has, just strumming and singing about giraffes and trains, and it's incredible. And there was a room open in the house where they lived, so I moved in. And shortly thereafter, I accepted a 30-day creativity challenge where you do something different every day, and I put googly eyes on things. <laughs> Went to Walmart, got the eyes, and the bottom right is a zucchini. My friend Javier put those on, and he made a skit for Layla, and she thought it was hilarious. So we put eyes on more vegetables. And we continued making stories, skits, and, and songs, partly for her entertainment, but we were having a good time too. And that's the corn husk making up the mustaches. <laughs> the, the hair of the corn. And one night we were up really late working on songs, and I wrote a song about a world where everything was broccoli. Anyone curious how that would begin? Yeah. In this broccoli world, we have broccoli towns full of broccoli sights and broccoli sounds. And everywhere you look, everything's made of broccoli. <laughs> so that's the song. And after that was going well, I thought, let's make a music video. I wanted to get the education, so we made this cardboard set. Everything's very low tech. We worked together, uh, and it brought us together. And I felt like part of the family working on it with them. Editing the video took me an insane amount of time since I'd never done it before, and while spending hours watching this dancing broccoli footage, I thought, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm 28 years old, I need to be thinking about a career, taking life seriously. Uh, but when it was up on YouTube, I was excited to share it. This is the point at which things get a little bit profound, a little deep here. See, I've always wanted a platform for sharing deep values and wisdom, especially with kids, and it really helps if it's goofy so it can slip under the radar and people don't take it too seriously. So we started thinking, what do we really want to say with the music? And we came up with four key values. Number one is ecology. Enough said. Next, diversity. We need to be able to appreciate and celebrate differences instead of being divided. Next is nurturing our creativity. And fourth is to eat healthy. So fueled with this clarity and vision, we made increasingly elaborate videos. This is a crew of eager vegetables running into the Weaverville Library eager to learn. It can be appreciated by any age. There's multiple levels of humor and it was featured in the Asheville Music Video Awards last April. Thank you. And with the music going well, we wanted to find a way that we can share it with more people, more interactive, in a live setting. So we started thinking, hey, vegetable puppet theater, see. 
here's a sketch I drew up, and I ended up booking a show even before it was made. I was so excited about the idea uh, at the Brevard Farmers Market for a kids' event. So I went to Lowe's, got the PVC, and uh, it seats two people inside, and there's a slot for the vegetables to come up through, and the top has a window that you can see out of but not into. So with the show booked and have you not able to be there at that day, I was in a panic, and I please, I requested my then roommate, now girlfriend, Haley, to please come in and learn the part of the pepper. <laughs> so she did, she rose to the occasion, and I was grateful, and the show, although I was really nervous, it went really well, and the kids loved it. And since then, we've been booking more, and I needed more help. This is my friend Alexandra, she's entertaining some fans after a show, backstage to what we call the meet and eat. They get to eat the characters after the show. We also built in a coloring session after every show where the kids can express themselves and get creative. Uh, the bottom right is a drawing of lily pads and frogs. A little girl wanted to do a song about that. And on the right is a zombie broccoli, hopefully done by an older kid. <laughs> It takes a lot of hands to make a vegetable video. So I've just been reaching out to friends and people know that I'm doing it and they're giving me ideas for songs, we're collaborating. If I get stuck in a verse, I'll just put it on YouTube and say, hey, music community, please help me here. And, and that's been very open, anybody can participate. And it makes it a lot more fun. The latest news, they finally have working mouths that move when they speak. <laughs> this is a hair band stapled to a beat. And there's a string on the bottom on my finger, so when I'm talking, I just go like this. And the whole thing is on a screwdriver, because I'm paled on a screwdriver. That's how I move it. So the shows have been going great. They're filling in only by word of mouth so far. Uh, it hasn't been too much work to book it. Um, yeah, our next goals are to get into the school system, get into the library, just so we can reach more kids, help them have fun, being creative, and falling in love with vegetables. Thank you.